Hi friends and thanks for coming for Coloring North America. So this is North America and if you have your worksheet and it's all printed out we're going to color in North America. If not then you can pause the video here make sure you have your printout. We also need four colors. I chose these four colors, yellow, orange, purple, and brown, but you can pick whatever colors you like if you like to pick your own colors for coloring, okay? And then I have my pencil here because we're going to start off with our name. So you can put your name anywhere on the paper that you'd like. I'm going to put mine up here at the top. And my name is Rachel, so I'm going to put Rachel. Rachel. Each. Rachel. Oh, there we go. Rachel. Yay. So now we're going to be coloring North America. And I thought it'd be fun for us to start with the biggest country in North America. The biggest country in North America is Canada. Canada. And so it's this one here. And I'm going to be coloring Canada brown. So if you'd like, you can color it brown with me, or if you like, you can color it any color that you like. So this is Canada right here. This is all Canada. So I'm just going to start on this edge here, and I'm going to color in Canada. And Canada is a beautiful place. They have gigantic maple tree forests. And so they have these wonderful maple tree farmers that farm and gather maple syrup out of the trees. Do you guys like maple syrup? It's delicious, it's delicious. So once they have all of the trees, they tap the trees using these little tree tap spouts and buckets, and then they collect the maple syrup and they, they have to cook it, they, they process it, and then they, they put it out for people to, to sell. So it's pretty neat. And so we're coloring Canada, Canada, I remember. And Canada has, Canada has a maple leaf on its flag. So I don't know if you have seen Canada's flag, but it has a beautiful maple leaf in the middle and it's red and white. So. Canada, as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty up high here on our paper. And as we go more north, this is kind of more north on, on the page, things get colder. So Canada is also gets pretty cold. Canada, Canada. Nice. And finish. There we go, there's Canada. Well, the mainland of Canada, right? A couple of islands that we can still color in. So if you'd like, you can color in the islands with me. If you're still working on the mainland, you can pause the video here or we can color the islands, okay? That's all of these islands here and then this little part of, of this peninsula here we have. So a couple of islands here. And then we have a couple of islands up here that we can color. Let's see if we have that. Can see if we've got that. A little bit more. All right, we're almost there. Look at all those islands, right? They're surrounded by water. We call them islands. 
this, right? One more. All right, woo, we got our islands. All oh, right, that is Canada. Can you say Canada? Canada. So let's do our next largest country. Is this is the largest country, it's Canada. And the next largest country is right here. Does anybody know its name? United States of America, United States of America. And let's color it yellow. If you have yellow, you can choose yellow. Or once again, if you'd like to choose your own color, please do. So I'm gonna start up here at this corner and color in United States of America, the United States of America. There it is. And you might know some of the states in the United States of America, or you might just remember the country name, right? But this is our country that we live in, and we live over here on the West Coast in California. This over here, this side is the East Coast over on this side. And if you know your states kind of as you color, you can think of, oh, what state might I be in? Like I would kind of be in Washington, right? It's up here. It kind of just depends on what you know. But it's fun, it's fun to learn the countries and, and also to learn the states. If you get a chance, you get to know our world. But the United States is a wonderful place, of course, that we live. And our flag is stars and stripes, right? Red, white, and blue, right? That's our country's flag. I'm not in coloring the United States yellow. I thought that that would be nice. So if you're still coloring the United States of America, the mainland, then you can pause the video here and keep coloring. Or we're going to color, color Alaska, which is a state in the United States of America, but it's a little disconnected. Do you see that? So, but it also gets colored yellow because it is part of the United States of America. So if you like, you can color Alaska, the same color that you colored the United States of America, for me, it's yellow, 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 yellow. All right, so there we go. There's the United States of America. Awesome. So let's do the next biggest country, okay? The next biggest country is Mexico, Mexico. So we're gonna color in Mexico here at the bottom. I'm gonna color it orange, but you can pick whatever color you'd like to color Mexico in. So I'm gonna be coloring it in orange and going down all the way to fill space. And there's that lovely orange. Beautiful. There it is. All right, well, there is Mexico. Yay! So those are the three largest countries in North America. And I thought that, that would be nice for us to color today so you get a chance to see. We also have other countries here. And if you like, you can take the time to color them in too. We have all of our, our uh, central, central small countries. And then up here we have Greenland, which is half in North America and half in Europe. So if you'd like, you can continue coloring and finishing this, but I hope you had a great time filling in North America and we'll do some more coloring again soon. All right. Bye guys.